Welcome back, my freaky darlings. Now, I did not do a Immortal Treasure 1 unboxing just because I didn't feel like it, I guess. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything. These are untradeable, barely giftable. I find there's really no point to do an unboxing and giveaway of these. But I guess I can just go through them real quick. We have Underlord's Emerald Conquest. That changes out the pit animation. Kind of okay. Um, I really like this one. Vengeful Spirits, Mournful Reverie. I can't remember what this changes. Oh, oh, it's the magic missile. Okay. And I like this one. Uh, you move around, the feathers drop, and... Let me see. In mine, it looks like that, so overall it gets a really good look. Oh no, I lost where I was. There we are. Uh, Terrorblade, he has the span of sorrow. Pretty cool immortal wings. I go... I go quite well with his opponent. Like and I like the wrong one. Then yes, I can't stop. There you go. <laughs> um, the loadout is Eternal Purgatory, and then his Immortal and Arcana. Pretty good. What does it change? Uh, it changes the Thunder animation. Ancient Apparition gets Shatter Blast Core to go with the crown that came out earlier, uh, last year. So you have a spiky red and blue look. Not bad. Get your Ice Vortex changed. Well, Ricky gets Edict of Shadows, which I really don't like these. They look like a rejected piece of the, um... Uh, was it last year? Last year's Chinese New Year, which was the Ram. I think that's correct. Yeah, that was last year. We didn't have any sets this year um, for Chinese New Year. Um, Edict of, of Shadows. And that changes your smoke to give a giant Ricky face on the screen. And the not ultra rare, the very rare, is also the same thing, just gold. Um, same one. It gives you a golden one, which honestly looks more like a brown dust, so it looks... More like dust, I guess. Like if you stomped your ground into a into an area with loose sand or something, and it comes up, that's probably what it looks more like. Uh, but together, they look pretty good, even if I hate the way the horns look. I am reaping um, the gold, gold shadow masquerade, and then the horns. Wait, shadow masquerade, and then edict of shadows. Hmm. Okay, I guess they're within the same vein, though. Oops, wrong way. And you have Spirit Breaker Savage Metal, which, honestly, his old immortal is <laughs> ugly. Spirit Breaker. Um, but they're probably gonna fix it. I hope in this um the level six fifteen or Eminent Revival, maybe it'll be fixed and look better. But until then, his old horns look ugly. But this one's actually pretty good. It changes your bash animation. And I think there's an extra sound to go with it. This one's probably my favorite in the entire... Like, out of the entire treasure. My favorite is probably Lich's. Um, it's Glare of the Tyrant. Gives you a custom chain frost. Has that skull that chases after people. Looks pretty badass. Where are you, Lich? I the dead of winter. That's a lot of sounds. We covered the Ricky one, and then the ultra rare is Phantom Assassin Codicil of the Veiled One. I think it's Codicil of the Veiled One. I was lazy during the Feel Phantom Assassin cold embrace. Um, event, so my arcana is not really fully unlocked, but here's what it looks like. I think you can redo it. Yeah, you can. It'll look good. Honestly, I prefer the blue look, though. Oh, well. And then the last thing within Treasure 1, which is in every of one of these treasures, I believe. I don't remember. I think it's in all of them. It's the emblem, just like last year, except it's green. 
cosmically rare. If I drop it, I probably will just sell it because it's going to sell for a lot. I don't know if there's... Let me demo it real quick. Just so we can see what it looks like. Axe oh, this rise! Is my, this is my axe, so... Yeah, it's nothing Cut and run. crazy to look at. What do you think will happen this time? It's green. Murdering it's a circle around your feet. Unless, yeah. Looks like it's no, no. I'm oh no, never mind. That's that's that. Matter. I was gonna say it looks like it's bound to like ankle anklets. No, it's not. That's just that. Um, Into wars, gives you kind of a green glow, and it stays until I think the next TI. Oh, and Forward. you get you get like oh look at that. You get um a trail. By with Rest is for unusual the couriers to get your little gem trail. Green, green gem trail. I'll call it. Axe rises in rank. Mining? <laughs> Axe goes. The mining trail of death. Let me put that. But pretty good, but it's going to sell for a lot. I don't really care about it either. I don't need a green trail following my hero for only a year. Now, if it was permanent, I'd keep it. Sorry, I was making sure it was recording. If it was permanent, I'd keep it. But it's not. And finally, we have the collector's cache, which... Uh, I have a weird... I have some mixed feelings about this cache right now. Um, we have... There's, there were a lot of sets submitted, and unfortunately, some of the best heroes had multiple sets. Like, the best sets were for the same heroes. And I know Valve probably did not want that to happen. They don't want um, to release the same heroes in one thing. So hopefully, after TI, the rejected ones that were really good are going to be shoved into another um, treasure, treasure chest. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see. And uh, some of the ones I'm just not happy with. Some of the choices. Anyways, to start it off, we have the... It says... I don't know why it says Underlord right now. Why does it say Underlord? Okay, it it updated. Bloodseeker Trail of the Sanguine Spectrum. It's the Bat Bloodseeker. That's okay. I saw it on the... I, I saw a lot of these, so I know what a lot of these were going to look like. Um, I don't think it had this particle effect right here along the fins, uh, along the blades. But it's supposed to look like a bat. Uh, the theme is, of course, underground. It's a cavern. Does it change anything? It just says it has ambient effects, which are the eyes here and then the blades there. But he... <laughs> the unfortunate part is his immortals are a headpiece and blade pieces. So you either could choose your immortals or this bat bloodseeker. Have fun. Uh, the next one is Pangolier Pitfall Crusader. If I recall this... Wow, stop moving, Pango. Had a very different color. But I'm not against that. This blue color's pretty bad. And it comes with your hat. Alright, it's like a bluer hat. The armor's all, most of it. <laughs> it's most of the set is the armor. But my favorite, surprisingly, is the blade. There was another Pangolier set that was a little bit more spiky, and that one's blade, I think, was better. Um, unless this is the same one, and they just modified it to look less thorny and this one changes what does it change it just has ambient effects all right uh and then we come to the dark seer dark seer insights of the sapphire shroud i don't like it i just i get there's mushrooms on there but this fin and everything it looks more coral it, lo it looked more coral upon first look so it made me go maybe it was for ti7 not TI-8? And they made minor adjustments? And I know there's a lot of time and effort put into these sets, but I just, personal preference, I didn't like it. And there's no changes to Dark Seer. I was hoping maybe a different color for an Ion Shell, but maybe that'll piss people off. Um, but no real changes. Spirit Breaker, Pillar of the Fractal, Fractured Citadel. I think this one had different colors going on. Or maybe they had optional colors. Like they had a red one and a green one going on. And no, it looks good. It looks good. It has that rhino set look. 
Um, the flail is going to be red if you have the immortals in with the headpiece, which is unfortunate because the headpiece doesn't look that great. The head, head immortal, not amazing. But this armor back here and all the green going on, I love it. I like that Valve is finally saying, hey, it's a, like they've said it for a while, indirectly. <laughs> um, but now they're kind of shoving it in your face that it's okay to move outside of a hero's normal color palette. Don't be afraid to do that. It's not that bad. We understand what these heroes are at this point. <laughs> it, it, it's very obvious. Undying Forlorn Descent, if this is the one I think it is. Yeah, there were two Undying sets on the in the workshop. And this was actually my least favorite of the two. But hopefully they'll split up Undying slots. That way you can put... <laughs> that jacket's awesome, actually. But hopefully they can split up undying slots so you can equip different things like on the left arm and the right arm and there's golem it doesn't fit the screen but it's pretty good too the golem's good it's just the overall set felt weird for undying i don't know how to explain it and it doesn't look like any custom tombstones or zombies but you still get the golem form i guess that's okay and hey it comes with a loading screen that's not loading that's ironic. Uh, ambient effects loading screen. Um, oh, and the Pangolier one has the loading screen too. That also isn't loading. Thanks, Volvo. Next is Wraith King Stone March Sovereign. Um, I did see this one. This one was actually backed by Dota Cinema, if I recall. And there were two Wraith King sets. One of them, one of them was good, but it had just way too much going on. And I think this one was better. Wait. They, they have it in two different... I don't know why they have it like this. Is it, it included in this bundle? His sword and then the rest of his sets. The rest of his set. And I know it's not just one piece. It's weird. Anyways. A loading screen that also isn't loading. And the helmet piece actually had more black covering up his beard. In the workshop because he's he's an ugly bastard and we all know it um so it looked more like an x on his face and like right here was covered up but it's a little bit more uncovered it looks about the same though Pretty good. i like this one there's there's no customs though nothing custom about it just a really solid good set i this one I really didn't like. This was the Necrophos, the Rat Necrophos, and there was another... I think there was two other ones. One's the, one was like a mushroom one, and another one was a fungus one or something like that. One of them was a bit too... I think it was the mushroom one was a bit too much going... There was a bit too much going on, and the fungus one was really good. Unfortunately, we got the rat one with a scorpion up here, I guess. I really don't like it. Like, I understand rats are plague, plague bringers and everything, and it's very warhammery. But, Necrophos is a human, not a rat person. Not a horrible rat creature, but hey, if you can change the mount on Batrider to a manta ray and an owl, I guess you could do this. Yeah, it's, it's just the ratness that bugs me about it, but I was bitching about color earlier, or about the fact of you can move away from certain heroes' color palettes. You can move away from lore, too. Um, this is a collector's cache, after all. Next one is Techie's Primer of the Sapper's Guile. They changed, like, a ton of the ambient effects and deleted them. There were there were a lot of ambient effects in this. Um, this candle, for example, I know that was lit. And I think there was also smoke coming out of here. Unless that was a different one. There was like five techies or five or four techies um, sets out there on the workshop. And we can't have them all. And some of them weren't amazing. But because of the mines on this one, I think this one is the best. Uh, it has these treasure chest mines and these cute little spider web. So that's actually pretty good. But no animation changes really other than ambient effects. Which I hope that in game, this candle is lit, and a couple of other things change. We'll see. Venomancer, there was two on 
there was two in the workshop, and both of them were actually really good. The winner was the red one. Uh, this one looks more like um, it reminds me of. It, it reminds me a lot of that artwork on the 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 cover of the arcade game Millipede, or was it Centipede? One of the two. I think it was Centipede actually. It reminds me a lot of that, but in red. And it's actually pretty good, as well as the Zerg, the Zergling, Zerg, and the Plague Wards. They kept those, so pretty good. I like it. Unfortunately, still no Gale custom, but we'll we'll see. I really didn't like this Witch Doctor set. Um, this like gnome looking doc with the mushrooms and all. I like the pipe. The pipe's cool. And also a little shout out to. I want to say that's an Evil Dead reference, but. It could just be a Necronomicon in general. But I like, but this Death Ward is amazing. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at him go. <laughs> An angry mushroom. I love it. Next is the Queen of, Queen of Pain, Raptures of the Abyssal Kin. There were a couple, I believe, on there. And I am... Not enjoying the other one had better wings if I recall. Because this one had this like spidery head. It reminded me more of a spider than anything. I know she's supposed to be a vampire, but like you have these fangs there, that's cool. Um I like the green and I love that they finally gave her different shoes. But otherwise it doesn't really strike out to me and there's no there's no ambience, there's no particle changes, there's no... Oh, ew, look at those dinosaur feet. But, um, no... What do you want to say? Um, spell changes, spell animations. Invoker Fate Meridian. This one was actually really good, and I was afraid it wasn't going to be approved because I thought they were going to go with a... No. Oh, it's too good. It's Dota FX style. We're not going to accept it. Kind of like... I'm not going to bitch about that. Um, so it changes some animations. It has a loading screen, custom effects, and a model. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I know there was a lot of work put into this. There was the... Check out this Forge Spirit. Definitely matches its owner. And I don't know what the animations will be. I guess it's just the way he moves around because this has to move with him. The ring around his neck. So... That, yeah, that's all in the crown. Look at that. That's crazy. And the mantle, eh. Cape, standard. Arms actually go all the way up. That's cool. And that that also goes all the way. Um, last year we had an invoker one that was kind of cool, but weird because it added this Cthulhu feel. This one has more outer spacey feel almost, like an out space mage. But I like it overall. Ugh, this Weaver one is just ugly. There are no custom changes, no nothing, and it looks like a hot mess. I'm sorry. It does. It. Are there two different. No, once again, it split it up the horns and everything, and. Yeah, it just makes him look like a very ugly cockroach. <laughs> I mean, he, as if he wasn't ugly before. Um. Which does fit with the underground theme, but. I don't know if it really, thinking about the top down with a weaver, you got to make a big change, and this doesn't really seem to go too crazy outside of what weaver normally looks like, except maybe make the blues look more subdued. And it's not really speaking volumes to me. And, of course, there's no custom effects at all, or particles, or ambience. Phantom Assassin, Visions of the Lifted Veil, there's custom effects, doesn't say what they are, but they're in there. Unfortunately, her arcana is her weapons, and this blade is amazing. Like the bat wings and this face, I love it. The rest of the set is eh, okay, but I'm glad they actually gave her, gave her chest armor. It's not something she really had, but I feel like an assassin would wear. And the cape is pretty badass, too. Helmet I could do without, but the cape and the armor... And this blade I love, but unfortunately we do already have the Arcana slot for her. But we'll see what that looks like. This one is easily my favorite in this entire chest. I was actually 
looking on the workshop, going through all the different sets that there could possibly be, and I was going, okay, if this one doesn't make it, I'm just not going to buy a single one of these treasure chests. I was like, it's not going to be worth it. This is the one that I want. Um, ambient effects, model, that's what's changed. And this is Warlock, the Dread Compact. It is, it is amazing. Uh, it looks like, I can't really tell because it's so far away. But it looks like they may have changed the staff. It was green on the tip. It doesn't look like that right now. To ref and it had a different look to reflect a refresher orb. Sorry, the bird's doing something over there. She's she's attacking she's attacking Curious DS. And it looked like a refresher orb. So it looked pretty cool, but I don't think they ran with that and they changed the colors on that one. Uh I don't remember there being a tongue sticking out of the Necronomicon, but there is. And Man, thank you for covering Warlock's face and making him look badass. Oh, this is amazing. And, of course, he has a golem, which is up over here. A lot of people were saying, hey, it's Shadow Fiend. <laughs> he su Warlock sh summons Shadow Fiend, but uh, I don't care. It looks awesome. And it kind of does look like Shadow Fiend, but at the same time, I mean, what else are you going to make a legless demon look like? It, it looks pretty good. I like it. So that's what we have, and it's the rare, um, the rare reward. Shadow Shaman Endowments of the Loosing Canopy has ambient effects and model changes. I didn't like this at all on the workshop. I thought they were pushing the mushroom theme too much. I was just going through, and I'm like, okay, we have this one, we have this one, we have this one, and so many people were pushing. Underground means mushrooms. Underground means fungus. And you're like, there's other things when you think about underground, like the Bat Rider set that was on there did a really good job of pushing a, like a blind underground Drake kind of thing that he was writing. Um, kind of sad that didn't make the cut, but it was good. But the Bat Rider part himself, not amazing. So I could see why he didn't make the cut. And there were there were like three Chen sets that were perfect. Um, I think two of them he was writing a rat and the other one was writing... Oh, what was it? I think it was a shrew or something like that, or like a, a vole. It was like a mole or a mole or a vole. Um, and that one was really good, and unfortunately it's not accepted. Uh, it was the one with a, like a Texas hat or something. <laughs> it was pretty, like old Wild West underground. Kind of looked expeditionary. I do like this back, back piece, this gold falling down, but I don't know why there's mushrooms like... Hey, if you have gold, keep it polished. Don't let fungus grow in it, but whatever. And then you have the custom wards, which kind of look like derpy mushroom snakes, but I'll roll with it. I still like the um, I still like the crow ones better, but I'm partial to birds. And honestly, I think the warlock one should have been the ultra rare because it changes so much and so drastically, and it's so good. Whereas this one is the ultra rare, which is Gyrocopter, which is the Ves Vespidin Hunter Killer. It's basically a wasp. Ant Man. Coming soon. Um, there's ambient effects in a model. There's no custom spell effects or anything. I guess. I think these legs are supposed to draw, like lift up when the missile flies out. Which will actually look pretty cool. I don't know. I, I should give this one the benefit of the doubt for now. Um, I haven't actually seen it. I doubt I'm even going to drop it. So we'll see. And with that, let's see. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There's seventeen total sets of these, so. Let's see what happens. Let's start opening. I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm getting an ultra rare on first go. Very first one. I swear if this goes in order. Okay, 
Okay, Loker. I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm going to get all of them. I baited me right at the end there. <laughs> Meh. Eh. Yeah. And I'm I'm being real. The only one I really want is the Morlock one. That's the number one set. probably cobble pieces of these sets together to make what I find an aesthetically pleasing set, so we'll see. I swear to god, if you give me Gyro and not Warlock, <laughs> I'm gonna be unhappy. <laughs> Faster. Not good. Don't do this to me, Dota. Don't do it, Dota. Yeah, I pushed it, alright? Yeah, I got five more. But I got the Warlock. <laughs> That's the only one I wanted. <laughs> Take my money, you filthy animals. You want to call this gambling? I want to call it gambling, because it is. Um, but who cares? I mean, I kind of do, but... Mm. Mm. You know? There was another set that didn't get in. Um, I believe it was the... There was another really good set that didn't get in. There was Juggernaut one, and I don't know if it was submitted for TI-8 or not, 
But there was a CK one that on there as well. Oh, and the Magnificent Doom set that's been just sitting there. And they were like, hey, I updated it so it could go for the 2018 collector's cash, and it wasn't there. And instead they lit in um, something like this. Oh, wait, no. Like this in. Yeah. And, you know, like uh, like this. It's, I don't know. This one. This one's my most hated. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Whoever made it, I apologize. I know I know you took in a lot. There was a lot of effort and time done into this, but I don't like it. Just a personal preference. Um. So yeah, now let's check out the uh, take a look at these sets. Uh, I'm gonna leave like this Darkseer one. I'm gonna leave it bundled. There's no point for me to unbundle it. Uh, Bloodseeker. I mean, I don't like it. There's pieces I probably will use though from the Necrophos one. Um, no, I actually do like the the Quap one. I just wish there was more to it, like ambient effects or anything. But there is. And. So many sets. Which ones have I not unbundled? I didn't unbundle Fate Meridian. What else? What else? Um, Stone March Sovereign. Uh, Pitfall Crusader. Um, what else? Yeah, I love the uh, the mushroom word. The rest of it I can do without the but but the mushroom word. That's the good one. Forlorn descent. Yeah, give me the jacket. Thank you. Welcome back. She's like flying back and forth. Uh, primer of the sappers. Guile. Yes. Techies. Yes. All my techies. And there's. Else I didn't unbundle. Oh, Visions of the Lifted Veil. Have I done that one yet? Um, no, I didn't unbundle that one. And I'm just keeping, <laughs> I'm keeping this Darkseer one bundled. I don't want it. I'm done with it. Um, is there one I didn't open? Oh, right, Dread Compact, the my, the one I wanted. One I had to push my luck for. What did you, okay, there he is. Where where did those items go? Don't do this to me. All right, so go to heroes. No, here we go. Bloodseeker. Like I said, he already has immortals for his blades and his headpiece, but maybe the rest of it will look better. Let's see, and yeah, these actually don't look bad. These actually look pretty badass. Yeah, look at that. What about the headpiece? Um. Oh, this isn't an immortal. It was, is it? Maul of Estok. Face thirst and. Oh, right, no, that's just what happens when you have thirst vision. No, yeah, that's definitely the immortal. And then there's the infused head as well, and now there's a bat face. I don't like this back piece. Let's change it back. Yeah, I'm changing it back. Or does it look dramatically different from behind? Not really. Yeah, let's go from bird. Bird mode. Um, blades, I guess, are good. Mm, yeah, we'll just... I guess we can keep him into bird mode for a bit. I don't really even play Bloodseeker anymore, so... He'll be Batseeker I'll for a while. Um, oh! Right. Broodmother. She had like four sets on the mark on the um sorry, on the workshop. And they were all good. Not a single one was accepted. Why? Why Valve? Come on, put the broodmother back in. She is the definition of underground. Like, look at her, come on. Look at her right here, look at her here, look at her there. She she looks like she belongs underground. I don't know why this happened, but put broodmother back in. Yeah.
hopefully, like I said before, they're going to pick some sets that didn't quite make it and bring them back in. No, I like my Darkseer. I'm not putting this fungus on its face. There was also a cool lichen one, but it looked a little weird. It kind of felt Van Helsing. Van, Van Helsingy. Just cobbling words together. And a Phoenix one, but it didn't change too drastically, I guess, from Vermilion Crucible or Golden Nirvana, so. I guess there goes that. Oh my god. I'm having a round. Hi. Spirit Breaker, here we are. Charge! Let's go ahead and put on Pillar of the Fractured Citadel. Looks nice. Let's give you your immortals. That actually looks even better. I've always loved the helm of the Elemental Imperator. But let's put the awful looking helmet on you. That's actually pretty good. Alrighty, and <laughs> there was a spent one on the workshop that looked Sans, so Sans, awful. <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't accept that. Uh, I'm sorry, whoever made it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but not, Sans, not your best you work. That's all. Undying Thunder. Um. Okay, it's not actually Venus set yet, but it's Forlorn Descent. Um, arms. Wow. Uh, did did Underlord get one every year? Yeah, TI5, TI6, and TI... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, let's change that. TI6, TI7, and TI8. All right. All right, Underlord. And then, he, of course, he had the mythical arm, too, on the Grim Reformation. Nice. I'm still sad they didn't add a custom golem. Or tombstone and zombie. Oh. Thulu Beast is still pretty nice, but turn him into crystals. And that one, that one. And, yeah, let's give you your creepy... Mushroomy. I like the mushroom glow, and I like the fact that it's this like ugly trench coat, and it still works for his hat. Like whatever hat you're putting on, I, it still works with his pirate hat. It kind of looks like a captain's coat kind of thing that just kind of faded away over time. Okay. Um, Wraith King, right? Man, my customized set just has so much going on. Um, so armor. Let's go to Stone March Sovereign. All right, looks nice, looks nice. Shoulder piece. All right, let's change the cape and the helmet. The all star. No, I'm sorry, helmet thing. All right, gives him a little bit darkerness, dark, darker look. I like the spikes actually. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I mean, his weapon's cool and all, but let's be real. Winter Blight's the coolest weapon you can have. Yeah, they know. <laughs> like, look at those bracers. They know they're just going to be replaced with the immortal. Ah, oh, broodmother, rest in pepperoni. I didn't get the uh, gyrocopter, but I'm not going to be sad about that. I don't really care. Oh no, there's there's people. Oh, there were meepo sets too. There were a few. There was mischief also like mischief. four meepo sets out there on the workshop, and none of them were accepted. I find it weird. You get like some of the most underground. Heroes, you know, Broodmother, Meepo, and who, who else had some extra sets? Um, I know Visage had a couple sets, but he wasn't really underground. And Oracle had some badass sets too, but anyways. Um, specifically Meepo and Broodmother, and you just skip out on them. I don't think that's cool. <laughs> Lore-wise, that's not cool. Okay, Pingo. Name's Meepo. <laughs> Geomancer. Pleased to meet you. He's not Meepo. That's a good set. And with Intia's re Teen's Revenge, it looks pretty good. Um, I don't have it though. Oh well. Oh, and the PA one. Here we are. The I actually sisters. wanted to see how this one would look because I think it would look. Oh, not Bloodroot Guard. This one. Visions of the Lifted Veil. Looks pretty good. Let me change the helmet piece off to the new immortal. And of course have to change the blade to Manifold Paradox. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Actually, I don't even want that helmet. 
want something else to go with that. No, the colors don't match there. That's not the... Yeah. Oh, that is so good. I, I love that. No, it doesn't even need that. It's so good. It actually gives her an armored look. Beautiful. All right, sorry. And do, 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 who else got a set? Oh, there was a funny Ricky Mouse, like a rat set, Ricky rat set on the, on the workshop, and I didn't want to see it approved. It didn't get approved, thank goodness. So don't need to cry about that one. There we are, Ben. Ben old man, sir. Blur stalker. Molokau stalker. I like the plague word. I'm keeping the plague word. That's my probably my favorite Deadly part. to the and touch. I'm gonna give him his glowing tail. And Fatal bloom. Ooh, that looks pretty. Pretty and ugly. I love it. Weaver. I mean, this is what my weaver, weaver has going on. So you could see why I don't like those giant horns and stuff. Yeah, I'm just not I don't like it. Sorry. Um Invoker, right, he had a crazy set going on. I have a lot of items for Invoker. It's not because I like Invoker all that much. It's just because he has so many items. Mm. There's a is there a glowing there's a glowing one. Yeah, there is. Mantle. Yeah, I could roll with that look. Yeah, let's just keep it like that. The Dark Artistry Chief. Eh, I don't think it would. It could go with it, but I'm going to leave it alone. I like this how it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the bird. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Also, Lion didn't get, didn't get any, but then again, he does have his new... Immortal. Lion. Or, yeah, Immortal. So, I can't really complain about that, about Lion not getting one. Um, Necrophos, Ratcophos. Necrophos. Ratface, nope, don't like it. What was this one? Ratbeard. Man, I feel stupid for unbundling it now. Wait, did they unequip my leg pieces? So, Leg of the Mirror Divine or Fringe of the Plague Monger. So, Fringe of the Plague Monger, Monger, now I have too many books going on. I guess I can have a rat tail. No, that looks so weird. Uh, that's actually a pretty cool staff, but let's be real, the fingers are better. No, I shouldn't have unwrapped that. I, I like my Necro too much. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why'd you land on my head? <laughs> she like landed on my head and then just took off. It's like... Why? <laughs> it's not tradable or marketable, so... I kind of fucked myself by unbundling it. Oops. Um, sorry, heroes. Bless you. Queen of Pain. Mmm. Them dinosaur green boots. The new fashion this year. Dinosaur heels. Get yourself a set. Uh. Okay, the, the wings will definitely change to these ones. They're better. Weapon, ooh, Crimson Agony or Blade of the Abyssal King. No, I like this green one, but the headpiece is ugly. There we go. That's my quap. Yeah, because they same shoes? No, different shoes. Green and red. I hope that hurts your eyes. M Merry Christmas. I didn't get the Shadow Shaman one. What am I saying? Um, Techies, techies. I only have one full set owned. Yeah. Techies. I like it. Um, I didn't get the Arcana for Techies. I don't play them enough to warrant that. Witch Doctor. 
Which so all of it's feeling good, man. Um, I gotta have that glowing pipe, though. Do I? I like the captain's head. The mushroom one is meh. The mushroom one? Mushroom one's meh. Mushroom weapon is meh. What the death word? Angry mushroom. Smoke a pipe and put on my captain. Now he looks like a hobo. <laughs> a hobo with an angry mushroom ward. I love it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I miss anybody? Besides Warlock? I, kn I know Warlock exists. I'm not forgetting about him. No, I got that one. Got it. Mm. No, I didn't forget anybody. Warlock's the man. What he currently looks like, it's time to get badass. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Wait. They deleted his purse, I guess? Time to give him a purse. Book of the Infernal. Oh no, they turned his purse into a into those floaty spikes. I don't know how they did that, but okay. I like it. The weapon, oof. Oof. I gotta have Hellborn Grasp. I'm sorry, I, I gotta. And the Golem, I could change it however I want, but I'm gonna keep that Golem for now. And the amazing Particle Lantern. Oh, there's my Warlock! Yeah. Face this Warlock. Okay. And that was the collector's cash. 2018 collector's cash. Immortal Treasure 2 win. Actually, no, there's. Valve put themselves. Like, they gave their, themselves too much to do. They, they kind of, on accident, gave themselves too much of a workload because you have Treasure 1, which, yeah, they finished it already. They have Treasure 2. They have Treasure 3. The collector's cash. Um. Uh, they have mutations mode that they always have to debug every week. Uh, do, 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 more like every day. Uh, there was another one. Let me go here. It was the the lion item, the lion prestige item. Uh, Hellspar, Hellspar Aranthia. Under Hollow. And you got to work on Under Hollow. It's going to be a lot of work. And Promise of the Eminent Revival. Which, what kind of promise are they going to give us? So, I think they could do it. We'll see what they could do. Um, but until then, I'm just going to sign off. And, hey, maybe I'll put a giveaway soon. But for now, that was just a preview and saying, hey, this is what the collector's cash has to offer. If you are on the fence about buying anything, what it's going to look like with some of your arcanas or even immortals. Um, just... There's an easy way to do it now, and I'm sorry, the, the bird just keeps going crazy. 